Hello friends and strangers and everybody in between. I am Heli and this is my channel Gentle Gaming for Wellness and in this video I am taking you with me into Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. As a non-native speaker of English I feel that both my gameplay and my commentary will be better in quality if I do the post-commentary thing and can therefore focus on them one at a time rather than trying to do both at the same time. So that's what I'm doing and with that said, let's get started. So we're starting a new game here in normal mode. I am quite comfortable and familiar with these farming sim type games and in fact have played some Story of Seasons games before also. So normal mode should be fine for me. A long time ago, my grandfather and his friends blazed a trail and established a new settlement. They called it Olive Town. When I was a kid, I loved listening to stories of my grandfather's pioneering days more than anything. Since then, it's been my dream to live in Olive Town just like he did. Alright, so here we are in the character creation screen and I'm just showing you all the different types of faces that we can customize our character with. I like the mysterious one best, so that's what I'm choosing. Skin color, very pale. Eye color, there are loads. I'm just gonna scroll down the list and show you all the possible alternatives that we can choose from. I like the lavender best so that's what we're going with. Hairstyle there are a few. I'm just going to scroll down the list once again and show them all to you. There are quite a few very cute ones, but I do have a favorite. So I like a lot of them, but the long farmer cut is my favorite. And then there are quite a few hair colors to choose from as well. I'll show them all to you before, um, before I make my selection. So I like the um, velvet purple best, so that's what we're going with. And we're going with a cute voice and the charming bearing. Here 
in the start there are two different outfits to choose from a skirt and then a sort of hoodie and pants I think I like the hoodie best so I'm going with that all right this is our character let's get started Oh, but there is one more customization thing that we need to do. We are getting our own motorcycle and we need to choose its color and the color of our helmet. a lot of these but I was really debating between pink and violet and um, in the end I chose violet making our way into Olive Town. And who might you be? Did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? Yes, I did. Well, that must have been an arduous journey. Your poor motorcycle tells, tells a story all its own. Ah, uh, you needn't worry about it. I can have the repairs arranged. I'll be taking it to a man named Clemens who runs our tool shop. You can pick it up later once he's all done with it. Uh, by the way, might I have your name? Our name is going to be Heather. Yep, spelled correctly. I see. So your name's Heather, is it? That sounds so familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Oh, my goodness. Your birthday, it's uh... Is it what I think it is? Our birthday is going to be autumn 18th. Yes, I remember now. Autumn 18th. Come to think of it, his grandchild would be 20 by now. Ah then that would make you his granddaughter, yeah. Yes, of course. My apologies. I don't know how I could have forgotten when you're standing right in front of me. Goodness gracious, to think my dear old friend's granddaughter would find her way to Olive Town. 
Come on then, I'd be happy to show you to your grandfather's old farm. Is something the matter? Actually, let me guess. By the look on your face, you'd like to ask me, are you quite sure this is grandfather's farm, sir? And to that I would say, it is. When your grandfather lived here, this farm was a lush and beautiful place. Emphasis on that was, I'm afraid. Now, um, what was the name of this farm again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Your grandfather must have told you the name of the farm, surely. What was it again? It's going to be Sunnyside Farm. Yes, Sunnyside Farm. Yes, that's what it was, Sunnyside Farm. Interested in taking over the farm, are you? Well, I can't say I'm well versed on the subject, but I can at least teach you the basics to start you off. Here you are. I'll pass these along to you. Okay, invisible tools. These are tools for developing the farm. As I'm sure you're well aware, this farm has seen better days, but those tools will be the key to changing all that. Using tools and items. Press the arrows to select an item in the item bar. You can use the highlighted item with Y. The bag. Items you find will be placed in your bag. Press X to open your notebook and view your inventory. Be aware of trees and stones while clearing things out. You'll need special tools to deal with those. Clearing the land. Using an axe while standing in front of a tree will allow you to chop it down and stones can be broken with hammers and sickles can cut wild grasses. Utilize your tools to clear the land. I realize this is a lot to take in and it might be baffling at first. Take things at your own pace and you'll gradually grow accustomed to it. Ah, and do use the sleeping bag in your tent if you find yourself exhausted from work. A good night's rest will restore your energy. Sleeping. Sleeping in your bed will recover your stamina. Your game progress will automatically be saved the next morning. You're welcome to take some notes on all this for future reference. If you do, you can view them from the notebook in your tent at any time. Viewing farm tips. Examining a book or bookshelf in your house allows you to view tutorial tips you've seen thus far. Following along so far, if you're unsure about anything, I can explain it to you once more if you'd prefer. Nah, I'm good, thank you. Excellent, glad to hear it. I have some other things I should explain to you as well, but I'd rather not overwhelm you. Let's wrap it up here for today. First, I'd like you to try out everything you've learned and I'll be back tomorrow to teach you how to grow crops. Oh, and if there's anything about Olive Town you'd like to know, I'm the man to ask. I'm its mayor, after all. As a quick word of mayoral advice, I suggest you get acquainted with our residents. Leaving a good first impression is paramount, I always say. Now then, I'll be on my way. Until tomorrow. Okay, the tool bag. Your tools can all be stored in the tool bag. When you need them, take them out to use them and when you're done, you can store them back in there. Make the best use you can of this special 
tool storage. And then I have the um, available expansions um, installed. So there are a couple of new places we can visit eventually. And also new town events. You can now encounter new events in town. Something odd seems to be going on. Befriend Mikey and Cindy and develop the town to a certain level to get down to the bottom of these new mysteries. And there are a couple of new outfits we can make once we get the beauty salon built. And even more new outfits that we can make once we build the beauty salon. All right, let's go see what kind of a farm we are working with here. There's our shipping bin. Your fields. If you sow seeds in your fields, you'll be able to grow crops. Try planting some seeds after Mayor Victor's taught you a little more about raising crops. So that's for later. Wild crops. If you discover crops you've never seen before while clearing your land, harvest and ship them as soon as you can. If you do, those crop seeds will become available for purchase at Olive Town's shops. All right, harvesting these wild onions. And we could eat them, but I think it'll be better for us to ship them and then get onion seeds available in the shops and also uh, get ourselves some money to work with. There's the dilapidated farm building over there that we're going to take a look at a bit later. For now, let's just harvest these wild crops and then spend our stamina on clearing the area a bit so that Tomorrow, when the mayor comes to teach us about, about growing, growing crops, we will have less of a hard time planting some. So I'm thinking this area will be good for making some neat little fields. Each crop will have its own field. There are some fields there already, but we'll see tomorrow about exactly what kind of a layout we're going to want for our fields. Let's try and make a bit of a path towards that dilapidated farm building. I think it's a coop and of course it's going to be very useful to get it restored and get the ability to raise chickens. Skills. As you get used to farm work, you'll find yourself leveling up various skills along the way. When these skills level up, you'll gain special traits and learn new crafts. Okay, so got our logging level up a bit. 
and already we, we've used up quite a bit of our stamina so we won't be able to do too too much today repairing facilities several dilapidated structures exist on the farm try to repair the coop first so you can raise chickens okay logs stone and grass needed we almost have enough logs but we do need quite a bit more stone and some more grass so let's just try and get enough so maybe we can already repair the coop today stamina using tools will deplete your stamina if you run out of stamina you'll pass out and wake up in your house the next day eating choose a meal from the item bar to eat it eating meals will recover stamina mm -hmm. so it's nice that it kind of warns you when you're halfway through your stamina so you can start watching it a bit more carefully farm obstacles as you repair or remove obstacles you'll gain more farmland to work with so you can uh, do the work with materials this one requires 15 lumber or with money uh, which this one requires 5000 gold uh, neither of which we have at the moment so let's get back to gathering the materials for repairing the coop just checking so we have enough grass now just need a few more logs and quite a bit more stone so this tree kind of prevents visibility so let's cut that down to get enough logs and then focus on breaking these rocks and seeing if we can get enough stone that way the day is also getting on a bit it's already almost 5 p.m so I'm thinking that after we get enough materials to repair the coop we'll spend the evening in town socializing so let's just see we need a few more rocks luckily there are plenty around the coop and uh, <laughs> this is kind of funny um, the last warning for low stamina comes quite early oh leveled up our mining that's nice um, one more stone so the last warning for low stamina comes when you still have two hearts left that's that's quite early okay uh, this facility this coop is going to be the cozy coop so I would think that like a more sensible a, a more sensible uh, geez having difficulty talking here okay coops chickens can be raised in coops by giving them fodder or letting them graze outside they lay eggs in the coop for you to gather the next day all right let's go see how our coop looks uh, feeding your animals place fodder in your animals feed bins they'll eat the fodder from the bins every day and animals who have been fed 
will produce byproducts the next day. So um, I would think that a more sensible place um, or time to warn you about low stamina would be when you only have one heart left. But um, yeah, as you can see, we can still do quite a bit of stuff mm, with two stamina hearts left, so... Not all that close to passing out with two hearts left. Okay. We'll save these materials to be used later potentially. I think grass and logs and sap are materials that we are going to need and we'll sell all the rest because money is going to be very nice to get. So the hoof house animal shop. The animal shop sells livestock and pets if you tame wild animals on your farm, a larger variety of animals will be available for purchase here. And it's open from 8am to 6pm and closed on Tuesdays. Hi Bridget, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh my, you inherited that farm? That's wonderful. I'm Bridget. I'm very familiar with handling animals, so if you need any help with that, please ask me. Sure will. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're Heather, right? Yes, I am. I'm Patricia. I run the, an run the animal shop. Keep that in mind now. I expect you'll be needing to come by before long. All right. Georg. Hey, I haven't seen you around before. Ah, your name's Heather, is it? I'm Georg, captain of the ferry. Good to meet you, lass. Yeah. Damon. You a tourist? Oh, you're the one who took over the farm. You're Heather, right? I'm Damon. I'm sure I'll see you around. And socialization level up, or communication level up, I guess. All right, so the next stop, general store. Olive general store. The general store sells seeds, seedlings, and various other products. Their lineup changes each season, so check back often to see what's in stock. And they too are open 8am to 6pm. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Cindy and you are? I'm Heather. Oh, you're Heather. So you're the one who's going to be living on the farm. May I come, to, may I come by to play sometime? Sure. Ah. Howdy, you're Heather, right? Yes, I am. I'm Angela. My family runs the general store. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Angela. Hi. Hey, uh, you're looking for anything in particular? Oh, so you're Heather. I heard about you from the mayor. I'm Jack, your friendly neighborhood general of general store generalities. Okay, that flopped. I'm Jack, nice to meet ya. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Jack. If the town gets busier, we'll get more customers too. I kinda hate being busy though. Well, I'm with you there. Ain't you Heather? 
I heard about you from Victor. I'm Simon. My daughter took over the, sen the general store from me, though I still help her out. I helped pioneer this land with your grandfather, you know. Those were the days. My, my, hello there. And you are? I'm Heather. Gracious, you're Heather. Now that I think of it, you do look quite a bit like your grandfather. My name's Jessie. I was good friends with your grandfather, you know. Nice to meet you all. I mean, it's good to be a little busy. It's good to have something productive to do. But being too busy is not nice. Well now, you've got the look of someone who hasn't gone fishing before, am I right? Yeah, well, yes you are. Don't you worry, this is as good an opportunity as any to learn. I'd be happy to teach you if you'd like to try. Here, for starters, I'll give you this fishing rod. It was just lying around my house and I'd rather it be put to good use. Thank you. Using the fishing rod, you can cast out your fishing rod as long as you're face facing a body of water. Once you've got a fish on the line, reel it in and begin the battle with your catch. The rules of fishing are simple. If there's a body of water, you can probably cast your line into it. Simply face the water, throw out your line and the moment you nab something on the hook, Start reeling it in. Once you've gained enough fishing experience, I bet you'll be able to reel in the big ones, just like Mi Amor Marcos can. And that's all there is to it. Now get out there and enjoy the fish. Thank you. Alright, let's go meet them properly. Hello, we haven't met before, have we? No, we haven't. Oh, so your name is Heather. I'm Raoul. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hola, nice to meet you. I'm Marcos, a fisherman. And you're Heather, right? We're a tight-knit community here. Everyone knows everyone. Come by and shoot the breeze sometime. Good to meet you. Could you be the new owner of that farm? Well, yes, indeed I am. You're Heather, right? My name is Manuela, and don't you forget it. You come here to sightsee? I can guide you around if you want. Oh, you're the one who came on that motorcycle, Heather, right? I'm Emilio. Don't you go forgetting that. Oh, so exhausting meeting everybody. But we've still got a good couple of hours of socializing before we need to go and turn in. So, uh, Nguyen's flowers. Nguyen sells a variety of flowers, flower seeds and furniture at his shop. His lineup will change each season, so check back often. You can also request to make perfumes and bouquets. Nice. Hello. Yes, might I ask who you are? Well, I'm Heather. Your name's Heather? Oh, you're the one who came to town riding a motorcycle? My name is Lynn. I manage the flower shop with my grandpa. We'd be delighted to receive your patronage. Hmm, who are you again? I'm Heather. Ah, Heather. So you're the one then. Name's Nguyen. My granddaughter and I run the flower shop. 
if you ever want flowers or seeds, come to me. I will. Though, um, I think I'll get some crops first. Flowers will have to wait a bit. You're not from around here, right? Are you a tourist? I'm Heather, I just moved in. Oh, you're Heather? Aha, the mayor was going on about someone coming to take over the farm. I'm Blair. I work at the bistro. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Blair. The Girls' Rest Hotel and Cafe. If you're not terribly hungry, but need a light meal after work, stop by Sally's Cafe. It's a great place to take a break every once in a while. And it too closes at 6pm, just like pretty much every other business in town as well. You're Heather, right? I've heard about you. Have you heard about me? Not really. Oh, you haven't. I'm Jason. Though I may look the part of a dashing corsair, I'm actually the owner of the Girls' Rest Hotel. Nice to meet you, Jason. Hello Heather, I'm Sally and I run the cafe. Have some coffee. I make a mean cup of joe, if I do say so myself. Mm, do you serve any tea? Hey, I'm Mikey. Fun fact, I can shoot lasers from my eyes. Pew pew. What's your name, Heather? Okay, I'ma remember that. Whew, quite a job, meeting everybody and trying to remember all the names and faces. I'm sure I'll get used to the people though, when I see them every day. But um, it's a bit overwhelming right now. Um. Hello, you're Heather, right? My name's Beth. I'm something of an archaeological enthusiast. I'm on the hunt for antiques in this town. I'm only a guest staying at the hotel, but in any case, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Beth. Karina. Enchanté, I'm Karina. A stylist. I just moved to, moved to this town too. Funny enough, we should help each other. Um, <laughs> I guess what she said was that we should help each other get settled in. Who? Okay, it's getting quite late and in this game, if you're out at midnight, you will pass out. So I'm just gonna head home and go to bed and call it a day. We did get quite a bit done today, so yeah. Let's just see what we accomplished and what all we have in our notebook here. Skills. We did get a few skill levels today. Logging level 2, mining, fishing. And this is the crafting menu. So we'll probably want to make the lumber maker first. 
and then the ingot maker as well. Those will be very useful. No hearts with anybody yet. And in a few days, it'll be somebody's birthday, so need to be aware of that. But let's finish here for now and continue from this point next time. So if you like this video, please do leave it a like and if you'd like to support my efforts here on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel Gentle Gaming for Wellness. It is quick and easy and doesn't cost you a thing, but it does help me a lot. Thanks so much for watching. I wish you a lovely rest of your day and I hope I'll see you in the comments below.